joined by Olympic champion Jake Varner. Well, Jake, back from a trip overseas, a tournament in Bulgaria, and then a, and then a stop in Iran as well. Talk about your tournament first of all. Oh uh, yeah, it was my first tournament back since the Olympics. Um, just kind of see where I'm at, and you know, obviously it didn't go the way I planned it to go, but um, it was it was good to get back on the mat and and uh, and wrestle. It, it was fun. So. Then talk about the stop in Iran, part of the U.S. delegation to work with Iran to try to help help save wrestling worldwide. What, what was that? What were those conversations like? And talk about that experience. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes. That um, as athletes, we don't really hear a lot of that stuff with all the different federations. But um, um, it was actually a pretty good tournament as far as being the World Cup. You know, all the countries that are there actually can come together and. And talk about you know what the next step is to to keep wrestling alive, to keep it in the Olympics, and and not let it get cut. But um, you know it, it it really didn't settle good with with any of the countries. And um, I think being in Iran uh, was a good place to show that everyone's coming together, and um, you know to to, to save this great sport. So. As an, a, a champion in the Olympics yourself, what are your thoughts on, on the process and what do you feel like needs to get done to, to help save it worldwide? Yeah, obviously, you know, it's pretty devastating what happened. Um, it's just, you know, obviously I'm not, not an expert on all, all that of, of, of what happens there because it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty frustrating, you know, as an athlete just coming off winning the Olympics, wrestling in the Olympics. Um, you know, everyone just has to unite, has to come together and um, get wrestling out there as much as they can. Uh, show how it unites countries, unites nations, and and um, really you just got to keep fighting. I mean, it, once you stop fighting, that's when it's going to stop. So. What's your experience been like on the worldwide scale with USA Wrestling? What's that been like for you? Uh, it's, it's been pretty exciting. You know, you got to go, you got to see the world. Um, you know, you got to travel places that not many people go to travel. Probably travel places that not many people want to travel to, but you know you get to see you get to see a lot of things and um, you get get to compete against a lot of great countries, uh, especially in wrestling. That's where most of our you know the big competitions overseas over in Russia and Iran and in those countries. So it's 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 a pretty exciting thing for for athletes you know now and and future athletes to get to go do those kind of things. You're back in state college right now. Just give give the the public an idea of what, what type of training environment it, it is it is down in, in the wrestling room here at Penn State. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it's uh, second to none. It's it's the best place to train. Um, you know, we, we have everything we need down there. Um, you know, I have great coaches, great workout partners, um, and and we have built a pretty good you know regional training site as far as freestyle and and obviously those things can't happen without a great college program, and that's what they have here at Penn State is. The best college program in the country, and and um, you know building that up and building the freestyle part up. So it's it's just a great place to train. Um, you know a lot of these college guys when when they're done with college they get a, they can just stay here and, and train freestyle, which is a pretty pretty great opportunity. Not many people get those kinds of opportunities. What are your thoughts on the job that Coach Sanderson has done here, and and some of the things that, that you like about the way he approaches things? Yeah, it's, uh, it's he's done a phenomenal job. I mean. Um, obviously, I was coached by him at Iowa State, and um, you know I thought he did a great job there. And, and uh, you know he came here and turned things around quick, and that's that's pretty impressive if you ask me. And um, you know they took ninth their first year here, and I I don't know if they were expecting to win the next year, but you know they did, and and it was pretty pretty fun to watch. It was pretty exciting. But uh, he's just done a great job. You know the guys, obviously the best college wrestler ever and one of the best in the world. I think he is the best in the world. And um, to be able to transition that over into coaching, you know, a, a lot of people can't do that and he's been able to do that. He's got a great staff with uh, Coach Cody and Coach Cunningham and, and um, you know, these guys know what they're doing and, and um, they just have, have great wrestlers on the team that, you know, really get, get what they're trying to do here and um, they just go out and compete hard. It's, it's fun. For you personally, what's next on the agenda? What do you have lined up here in the next few months? Yeah, um, obviously we have tournaments that are scheduled, um, certain ones and, and all that. There's the U.S. Open coming up. There's Pan Am Championships coming up, and the trials are obviously in June. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of kind of up in the air what I'm going to do, but um, you know, just kind of taking a day at a time right now, and and um, so. Greatly appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, thank you.